During the current planned organized shutdown of the U.S. and world economy that they like to conveniently pin on the invisible and ever elusive Convids 1984, and to obscure the fact that hyperinflation, because of all the money printing in the M2 money supply expansion that was due to come and hit us anyway, is on its way at a breakneck speed. It looks like, and I can't prove this either way, but it looks like the powers that shouldn't be are throwing some thick smoke screens into the mix. Why? So that when, not if, but when hyperinflation does kick in and those prices get ridiculous, they have plenty of things in their alibi arsenal to point at and pin the blame on. This helps them, and by them I mean the puppet politicians, the corporate oligarchs, and the banking money masters. It helps them to escape public scrutiny and conviction. And now you can add to that list of alibis for the upcoming hyperinflation, the ever given getting jammed up the rear of the Suez Canal. But wait, there's more to this story in a minute. First, just in case the importance of unhindered travel through the Suez Canal, which was officially opened on November 17, 1869, was lost in anybody, this direct Egyptian trade route between the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea handles an average of over 51 vessels a day or 18,500 vessels a year. More than 10% of the entire world's trade and 30% of the world's global container ship traffic flows through this waterway every single day. And the 1,312 foot long, 175 foot wide, 200,000 ton ever given just happened to get stuck in the canal, now blocking hundreds of ships. See, here's the deal. Without the free-flowing Suez Canal, the only alternative to going through the canal is for vessels to sail around the Horn of Africa and approach the Mediterranean from the west. This adds at least 14 days and 5,000 nautical miles to the journey. The direct trade route through the Suez Canal lowers shipping costs and therefore keeps prices at bay. But what I want to focus on in this video is a peculiar and conspiracy-sounding report. The Ever Given's strange and reportedly accidental route before it entered the Suez Canal drew the distinct shape of something that literally says, screw you to the world. Screenshots of the Ever Given's track before it entered the canal show that before the vessel had lodged itself in the canal, it had also accidentally, in the words of the Jerusalem Post and other publications, sailed the Red Sea in a path the shape of a penis. Vesselfinder.com spokesperson Mihail Mitev confirmed that the ship's tracking data was accurate, saying, quote, there is no room for some kind of conspiracies or false data. As of the recording of this video, this is where the Ever Given is right now. They're reporting that hundreds of cargo and tanker ships are bottlenecked behind the Ever Given, which is loaded down with more than 18,000 containers. And just for clarification, Vesselfinder.com does confirm that the Ever Given did trace what looks like a penis before ramming itself 3.7 miles into the canal. And again, he said of the penis outline, there is no room for some kind of conspiracies or false data. So he's saying this is true. This is a sped up version of that data. The 430 yard long Ever Given became wedged diagonally across the southern section of the canal amid reportedly high winds early on Tuesday morning. If it is true that they drew a penis before entering the canal, this is an example of some seriously advanced trolling. A ship so big that it got stuck in the canal. Maybe we can call this the biggest dick move in recorded maritime history. Leave your thoughts about this for the world in the comments section below. And remember, humorous entries are definitely welcomed and might be read in a subsequent video. Share this video with everybody you know everywhere you can. Give this video a like and prepare yourself for some pretty serious inflation. See you guys in the next video.